people. So even if no matter what, no matter who you are, you can be a public figure. You can be a social media personality. You know what I'm saying? You can be a actor, actress, a rapper, a politician. Once you pass your soul to the fire of Moloch, and you work for the bad guys. And who are the bad guys? The bad guys is no other than the Romans. Who are the Romans? Well, in today's time, the Romans happen to be those people that is talked about in the second book of Revelations. Where it says, I know the blasphemy of them who call themselves who? You know. But they are not. But they do lie. But they are the synagogue. Of Satan. Now I ask you a question people. Who worship in synagogues? The Muslims worship in mosques. But who worship in synagogues? Is it those same people? Okay. So the book of Revel- second book of Revelations is right. They worship in synagogues. And they are Satanists. And I know it's kind of hard for you black folks to believe it. But Malcolm X is part of that. You understand? Know so anything that comes from Malcolm X's loins is accounted for the slaughter as well. And I know you guys is like, oh, why are you talking about Malcolm X's daughter? He did so much for the black community. Like what? Like introduce us to the nation of Islam? That's not doing good for the black community. I think that is doing exactly what the Bible speaks about in the book of Deuteronomy, where the scripture says, And thou shalt be scattered into all the ends of the earth, and there you shall worship other gods, neither you nor your forefathers have known, even wood and stone. So what is the two major religions? That the black people are in today. And forevermore. One is Islam. That's that rock over there in Mecca. And two is that cross. Which is the Christianity. The Christian church. Those are the two major religions. That you know what I'm saying. Um, That the black folks. Latinos. Native American Indians. Haitians. Jamaicans. You know. The Israelites today. Yes you black folks. Men and women, you are Israelites. You're not Muslim. Leave Ishmael's religion alone. We don't have a religion. We have a law. You know what I'm saying? And we ought to go by that law. There is no shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? There is no shortcuts. You have to do according to the law. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this news, people. Malcolm X's daughter dies at the tender age of what age? The number of her age represents who did this. But I'm going to go ahead and let the audio roll. And make sure you guys, as you guys come in here, make sure you guys hit that like button. It's very important that you guys hit that like button. You don't have to like me. You don't. Surely you don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't get paid for you to like me. <laughs> Remember that. I do not get paid for you to like me. I do. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this ministry for over 20 years and never got paid for you guys to like me. So you don't have to like me. But I'm just saying hit the like button if you want this truth to reach somebody else's ears so that they can be, well, try to be changed. Anyway. Oh, so they can hear the truth. Let's go ahead and um, get into this news report. Make sure you guys hit that like button. But first, we begin with some breaking news here tonight. Malcolm X's daughter, Malika Shabazz, has been found dead in her Brooklyn apartment. Police say Shabazz... You know, white folks sure can mess up a name. It's Malika Shabazz. Malika Shabazz. Not Malika How's, how's it Mala? Malika? It's Malika. How I know it's Malika? Because you all know my son, Brother Israel. Lamik Israel. 
you know, he, you know what I'm saying, his, his real name is, you know what I'm saying, well, I'm not going to give his real name, but his first name is the same name I got. He just, you know what I'm saying, used Malik, Malik is his middle name, you know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, he just added Israel to the end of that, that's his, you know, screen name, but you know what I'm saying, his real name is Michael Lamik Smith, you know what I'm saying, yeah, but anyway. You know what I'm saying? La Meek. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know the uh, uh, La Mika is spelled La Mika, not La 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 Quito, La whatever the, this white woman is saying. You know what I'm saying? White woman, get it right. Please get it right. Anyway, let me go ahead and press play. Oz's daughter found her unconscious in her Midwood living room just before 5 o'clock this evening. Police say that her death is not suspicious at this time. This does just come days after. Hold up. Okay, she's 56. I know people right now that's 80 and 90 something years old. You mean to tell me they found her dead in her living room? At the age of 56. You mean to tell me ain't nothing suspicious about that? And is she, was she suffering from cancer? Was she suffering from any type of disease or anything? We haven't heard of it, right? So how is she just found unconscious and dead in her living room? And you and you and people saying that that's not suspicious. That's pretty suspicious to me. You know what I'm saying? That's very suspicious to me. I know who it is, because you know what I'm saying. Being that he she died at the age of 56, you know what I'm saying. Who was 56? Government. What was Malcolm X? A government agent. So therefore, anything that comes from Malcolm X's loins are either subject for, you know what I'm saying, ritual sacrifice, or are going to be that next government agent. You know what I'm saying? This is this is how this is how these people work. You know what I'm saying? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is how these people work, people. But anyway, let's go ahead and um listen to some more of this. You know what I'm saying? Malika Shabazz. The two men convicted of killing Malcolm X were exonerated. Shabazz was one of six of Malcolm X. Yeah, the two men convicted of killing Malcolm X was exonerated. I, I, I could have told you that this was coming. I could have told you that this was coming because the two men that was uh, was exonerated, that, that killed Malcolm X was exonerated, was at the same time of the Travis Scott concert. And that whole big, you know what I'm saying, Texas ritual, that was all a ritual as well. You know what I'm saying? So all of that was connected. You know what I'm saying? The, you had the, the Drake and Travis Scott with the, the Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? Then you turn around, then you have, you know what I'm saying? And uh, at the same day, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Kylie Jenner's mother turned 66. And who was Kylie Jenner connected with? Charlie Kylie Jenner connected with OJ. Who is OJ connected with? Johnny Cochran. Who is Johnny Cochran is known for? The famous uh, black lawyer known for getting uh, uh, um, OJ off because they found the L.A. Police Department to be racist. And, and it's, it's a whole thing. It's, it's all about black people. It's all about you. It's a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you see these leaders, so-called influencers, popping up on social media like Kwame Brown, question that. Question Kwame Brown. Question how did he come up out of nowhere right after his handler, Michael Jordan, inducted Kobe Bryant, the Boule member, into the Hall of Fame. Yes, he inducted Kobe Bryant, the Boule member. Yes, Kobe Bryant became the Boule member after that incident where he was in the hotel room with that white woman. That was all a ritual and initiated him into the Boule. You know what I'm saying? But Michael Jordan inducted him into the uh, 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 Kobe Bryant into the Hall of Fame at that same time, that same time, that same day. Kwame Brown go viral. 
See how that works? Kwame Brown's an agent. Because if he was anything telling you the truth, he wouldn't be so concerned with looking at, oh, look at the beautiful women in the comment section. You notice every time Kwame Brown go live, what do he always say? Oh, look at the beautiful women in the comment section. All he's thinking about doing is trying to smash something. You know what I'm saying? You women that follow Kwame Brown better be careful because, you know what I'm saying, all he think about doing is trying to smash something. A real truther, a real man of the Most High, is not concerned with trying to smash his followers. I don't care nothing about your draws. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a hell about nobody's damn draws. You know what I'm saying? If I want draws, I get draws. I don't need that. That's not my focus. My focus is waking you up. My focus is letting you understand this truth. You understand that? You know what I'm saying? But pay attention. Y'all better, you know what I'm saying? Watch Kwame. Watch what I tell you when you see Kwame Brown. Watch what he, oh, just beautiful ladies in the comment section. Oh, beautiful ladies. You know what I'm saying? And he'd be looking at the beautiful, he'd be looking at the men as well. You better watch that man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's, that is an agent. He's a boule member. And if you lay with him, you best believe he's going to ritualize your vagina. And you ain't going to be worth two quarters. Or two nickels. Or maybe two pennies. You know what I'm saying? Or Kevin Samuels. That's another agent. You know what I'm saying? You got all of these agents. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, all the, I'm not going to name too many, but you know what I'm saying? All these other agents that's on social media. They put in place to keep you stand, uh, stagnant. Stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Malcolm X was an agent. He was an agent. His offsprings was agents. I know it's hard for you guys to believe it, but can't know. Hey, and let me tell you something. You are up under. You are not free. That's number one. You're not free, and you are up under. You know what I'm saying? Um, this government, which is Esau's government. So therefore, if a leader pop up, if if somebody pop up, so-called be trying to be a, a, you know what I'm saying, he's a freedom fighter or something like that, you best believe. Observe him. Just look and see who's financing him. Because that's how you can tell who's, who's who. See who's financing him. See what platforms he's on. See what platforms he can go on. Anyway, let me go ahead and press play. X's children. She was 56 years old. Malcolm X's daughter, Malika Shabazz, has been found dead in her Brooklyn apartment. Police say Shabazz's daughter found her unconscious in her Midwood living room just before 5 o'clock this evening. Police say that her death is not suspicious at this time. This Just before 5 o'clock this evening. And they said her death was not considered suspicious. And guess what? She is the sixth daughter. Ain't that something? I mean, they made sure they said that. Watch this. Listen. Does just come days after the two men convicted of killing Malcolm X were exonerated. Shabazz was one of six of Malcolm X's children. Shabazz is one of six of Malcolm X's children. She just happened to be the right one to take to get her life taken. It's a damn shame. Hey, to uh, Malcolm X's five other children that he have left, if he got five other children left, you better watch out because the Romans will be after you next. He was 56 years old. Amen. But that's going to wrap it up for this show. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It's very important that you guys hit that like button as you guys come in here. Um, don't forget, if you want to donate to this ministry, the PayPal link is in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith.